Hi, this is Justin Taylor with NetIQ. Today we're going to be talking about NetIQ's Advanced Authentication Framework. Now, many people are interested in what it is, what it can do, and when we talk about advanced authentication, let's first identify what we're talking about. It's authentication with more than just a simple password. So, for example, it could be something that you know, which in some cases could be a password. It could be something that I am, fingerprints, other biometric indicators, or it could be something that I have. And for this particular demonstration, we're going to talk about that particular aspect, what I have. And to help us with that, we have our friend Troy. Hi, Troy. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. So, what is it that I can do with this? How could I authenticate using something that I have? So, what we'll start with is we'll start with an easy one. We could pick either a prox card, we could pick a smart card, or what some people use as an alternative method if a person leaves their smart card at home is a thumb drive. So, I'm going to hand you this thumb drive. You may not have never logged in with one of these. So Let's see how this works. USB it's flash just a drive, thumb drive. Normal type. USB drive. Okay, so just put it in. Right. And then select a method. Since I have multiple methods enrolled here, you can see there's an, a bunch of options for me. Uh, generally speaking, a client would only have one, maybe two of these options enabled. Since I do a lot of demos, you see I have a lot of options here. Let's pick flash drive. And with a flash drive, you can go ahead and put your pin in from your flash drive. And press enter or click on the OK. And you'll see that it's logging you in now. Does that seem pretty simple? It's very simple. And that's a very easy way to have a backup for a user that may lose another physical device that they might normally carry, such as a card. So a flash drive is a very viable backup method. Most people do not use that as a primary. But it does have some advantages. Can I store other things on it while I'm using it, or is it just Absolutely. dedicated to that? No, it can be used as anything. There is an encrypted, hidden file placed on there, and that file is encrypted using your PIN that you put in, and that way the computer can unencrypt it with your PIN. If it unencrypts, it passes the, uh, so, uh, the, the file designator back to the server. The server says, OK, I know who you are. I'm good to go. So very simple to use. So the one that I carry on my keychain for all my personal stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Any flash drive anywhere can be used for that. Um, it, is a, it is not widely used, as I said, as a primary method, but it's very widely used as a backup method. Okay. Well, thank you very much for showing that. That seems like a very simple way for us to really give value and also provide that secondary form of authentication if I do lose my primary. Inexpensive and always available. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. So thank you all for watching. This has been Justin Taylor with NetIQ.